money, you're blessed. To be in America, you're going to make money here in America. When you have that blessing, you think back to it, you think, okay, cool. What would my ancestors do right now? What would my dad's dad do? My dad's dad, what my dad's dad had a shot I had. Okay, cool. What was hard work for them? They worked freaking 16 hour days, 12 hour days for how much? I go back to my heritage, my ancestors. I'm African American, African diaspora. From Nigeria to Haiti, from Haiti, Mississippi. How did, how did we get to, to Haiti, that island? My origins are naturally from Haiti. I probably came from a transatlantic slave trade. Someone in my ancestry was, was brought across the Atlantic but in chains and forced to work for free. That's where my strength comes from. Sold out, service, and you know we've been working. We serving, we earning. The watches, it's hurting. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They got to shift keys to be a capitalist. So how you build endurance up, man? So, for one, where did I come from? So let me ask you a question. Tito, where's your family from? Guatemala. Guatemala. Okay, cool. Uh, what generation are you? you? Second generation, third, first? Uh, I'm the first here in this country. Okay, cool. I was first born here in this country. So your mom and dad are from Guatemala? Oh, yeah. What was the journey like getting them from Guatemala to the <clears throat> Was it was easy? Like, was it a lot of retake? Hey, we, we're coming to America. It was easy. They had a house for us. Was it easy for them? Was it tough? No, it was really hard, man. I uh, um, Something about my upbringing was my parents, man, they, um, they didn't know English coming to this country. So um, what, they had me as soon as they, they, you know, they came here, they had me. And because I didn't really know how to speak good English in school, right? Um, my uh, my mom noticed that I would get like bullied and stuff in school because I just didn't know how to speak good English in like kindergarten. But I, I remember she would like stay up all night, Chris. She would stay up all night learning English and she would start teaching it to me the next day. So so my mom, she had extremely, extremely, uh, her work ethic was wow. through the roof, man, through the roof. And so full time. Crazy. That's crazy. So, so you, right there, you are blessed to have an example of what hard work looks like. One. Correct. Gratitude, your family came from Guatemala for a better opportunity in America. Correct, correct. So, so imagine if your dad had the same starting point as you, born in America, from age zero to where you are now. What mm -hmm. life could he have lived? But he didn't have that. It's okay, no, right? No. Everything's happened for a reason. But he came here, fought to get to this country to give you the same opportunity, to give you a better opportunity. Mm -hmm. So many, mm -hmm. man, I don't understand how first generation immigrants and immigrants waste that. What do you, your family fought to get you here. How do you right. waste that? What right. the heck? Like, if you went right now, if you ain't going to Amala, could you do a base shop and make, make this kind of money? TFT, <laughs> no, heck? man. No, heck, heck no. Your, your life's dreams would be so much smaller. Like, your aspirations, like, you, you gotta keep it real. Like, if I'm in Guatemala right now, man, the chances of me being coming wealthy, serving my family, it's very slim. Not because I don't want to, but the, the economic system in Guatemala is just not quite there. The corruption in the government, it's, it's just not there. So, one, you're blessed to be in America, you're gonna make money here in America. So when you have that blessing, when you think back to it, you think, okay, cool. What would my ancestors do right now? Mm. What would my dad's dad do? What my dad's dad, what my dad's dad had a shot I had. Okay, cool. What was hard work for them? What did they make per hour in Guatemala? Think about that. Ask those questions to them, man. Make sure you get your perspective that they worked mm -hmm. freaking 16 hour days, 12 hour days for how much? For what? Okay, cool. Yeah, my dad had a my dad had a walk uh to work and uh so he would wake up at like uh he, was, he told me a story. He would wake up to like four in the morning to be at work by like eight. So he would work. He would walk three three hours or so to get to where he was working, and then he would have to walk back once his job's done. Yeah. So, and you can't wake up at five in the morning. We can't stay late at night. That's one thing. Two. Second thing. Yeah. Do you have an example to follow? So I see Master Paula, man. His endurance, but he's doing. He's working out money. He's working out all the time. He's eating right. He's treating his body like he's an athlete. And I'm asking a question. Why is he doing that? Huh? Why is Matt doing that? So Matt does it for a reason. I'm going to copy Matt. Matt's a multi-millionaire. If you copy the habits of multi-millionaires, what happens? You become a multi-millionaire. If you mm -hmm. copy the habits, their identity becomes your identity. So I want Matt Sapala's identity. Okay, cool. So money smart guy, Sapala. Okay, cool. Working out all the time, getting in shape, getting big. Getting... Okay, cool. Endurance, lean muscle mass. Why is Matt work so hard? Pat said Matt's gift is this. Patrick Beth David Wright, host of Value Timmy, said, Sapala's gift is this. This is the number one strength. If he was a superhero, this is his gift. Matt's gift is endurance. It doesn't stop. 
So I'm sitting there, I'm like, his gift is endurance, all his personality, he's a video guy. His, 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 Max Apollo doesn't stop his endurance, he'll beat you. You don't want to compete with his endurance. So I say, okay, cool. Can I duplicate that? Can I copy endurance? Mm -hmm. I think you can. I can't copy gifts of speaking or looks or height or certain things, but endurance, I can copy. Okay, cool. What does Matt do? Matt works all the time. He's in good shape. I'm going to start working out. July of last year, I said, Matt has a personal trainer. I'm getting a personal trainer. Check. Done. Personal trainer. Okay, Matt has an eating plan. I have an eating plan. Check. Matt has a YouTube channel. Mm. If you want to get this is tough, Chris. YouTube channel, like, can you do that, man? Like, the work it takes to do that? If you do the, the work it takes to be disciplined, to shoot videos, today I shot three videos. About two and a half hours of shooting here. I'm shooting videos. I'm shooting content. I got about 34 videos already shot. I'm like, in the studio shoot. I'm like, if I die, I'm like Tupac. The videos will keep coming out. Is Chris still alive? What's happening, man? He still got videos coming out. <laughs> in the pipeline, man, for next, next year or so, right? But that's what Matt does. I'm copying Matt there. He works. Okay, cool. What else? Okay, cool. Okay, Matt does a live every Thursday. Chris, can you do that, man? It's late at night, tearing and grinding all day. If Matt can do it, why can't I do it? He's a man like me. Puts his pants on one leg at a time. He's setting an example. If anything, if anything, you would say, Chris, you're 35 years old. He's 49, 48, whatever. I don't know how he's in his 40s, right? Right. So if Matt's doing it, why can't I do it? So I'm copying. So you have someone to copy. Just slowly, slowly, and when you do it, man, what happens is this: you get to a point where you put the endurance up. You you think it's like normal, like yeah, I'm up at five in the morning to work out today. Today I was today I was up at five a.m. today, five thirty a.m. today to work out. Um, we had a mishap with um um um, um some help or, or some help with the kids. So to see them to go work out, I took the kids to school, man, on breakfast, man, on lunch. Took them to school at seven seven a.m. Got them to school, back to the office. Working, getting things done, boom, 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 hustling, 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 shooting videos, running appointments back to back. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Solving problems. All right, cool. Family's here on this line now. Long day. My endurance is up, so it's not a big deal. Tomorrow, tonight, I'll go to bed late. Tomorrow, I have a boot camp with my team at 7 a.m. Not a big deal. I've been doing boot camps at 7 a.m. for the last four years. Mm. To me, it's normal to wake up early on Saturday mornings. So to me, it's normal. It's not like, it's not like oh, I'm like, bro, this is what we do. Like, this is our endurance. I Man, I get I get one life. I get one shot of oh, life. And then again, I go back to my heritage, my ancestors. I'm African American, African diaspora, from Nigeria to Haiti, from Haiti, Mississippi. How did how did we get to, to Haiti? That island. My origins are naturally from Haiti. I probably came from a transatlantic slave trade. Someone in my ancestry was was brought across the Atlantic but, but in chains and forced to work for free. <laughs> Forced to work for free. This ain't hard work. Yeah. Their kids were born and sold into slavery. That's where my strength comes from. Like, so like, we all have a heritage. Man, I don't care if you're German. I don't care if you're, if you're German, who were you enslaved by? The Romans. Romans enslaved you. Germanic tribes were slaughtered for generations. Right. I, right. Irish, the Irish fight, fighting for freedom from the English. The NRA, like we, we all, I don't care if you're white, black, Latino, we've all been fought or enslaved or, or something's happened to us. So if you go back far enough, man, it's like, this is easy, baby. This is nothing. This is lightweight for me. And then the last one is this. I got this from Kobe Bryant. Man, I'm a master nap taker, bro. Oh, I'm, the meanest, I'm the meanest nap taker you ever find. Man, I take, bro, I sneak in naps. Like, you, you, you don't even know. Like, dude, before our RI call, 525 p.m. Cool. <laughs> this is this is something I need to hear, Chris, because my perception was <clears throat> we just need to sleep. Uh, uh, we just we just got to sleep four four hours a day every single day for the rest of our lives. But but that, that <laughs> so I'm glad I'm glad that I'm glad that we had this talk because I was just trying to figure out like how do you how do you just you know but but that this makes so much sense the sleep and, and also scheduling sleep right when is those good times to sleep when would be a good time to take that nap so so that's gonna help me big time Chris now I'm not so par not now I'm not so like stressed out about constantly waking up earlier 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 and not sleeping three to four four hours a night oh. I'm like how you'll get burnt out man you you're you're a, you're a father. You're a husband. Mm -hmm. I, my kids need my kids need my energy. I can't just be like, right. hey, son, fire, son, son. I can't play. I, I, I got, I got to be a father. I got to be a husband. So these naps help on a ton. Like, okay, cool. Right.
fresh and ready to go. Right. And, it, and I, I suggest, I suggest, if you're burning the midnight oil, you're working and grinding, this is me. You need a day, man, to, re to restore and refresh, man. It, it's not just a biblical principle, man, but it's really true to, to getting rest, man. So for me, I shut down around, this is me, I shut down around Saturday evening around 6, 7 for about 24 hours. I wake up in the morning, church with my family. We have brunch. We hang out. The kids play. We get a nap. We get a good family nap in. Good, strong family nap. We all nap. Saturday afternoons. And then around 7, 8 o'clock on Sunday, I'm back on a grind again. I'm getting ready for my, my business week. I'm going to my calendar, hopping on calls, things like that. So I, for, for, for wow. about 24 hours, I'm shut down. I know 24 hours. I know Saturday evening, the kids, movie night, family night. I know for a fact I got that time for the kids and the family. 